All right. It's been a long time, so I made a video. Took some time off. Things got crazy. The world kind of fell apart, huh? Well, I'm making this video today because I've decided to go a different direction with my YouTube channel. Uh, this is not the first time that I've done this. I'm still trying to find my niche. Um, I'm going to definitely stay with the tech side of things. However, uh, I found that over time, trying to find the kind of cross functionality with a Chromebook, it's just not cutting it. So part of the reason I stopped with the videos is because I kind of hit a wall, but also kind of got a little burnout on Chromebooks. Now, I've never been more like the type to get like super in depth with the internals and chips and boards and all this stuff, but uh, I love the Chromebooks and I thought that I could get by with just having a Chromebook only. And the more I've tried, the more difficult I found that. Now that's just my use case. Um, like my son, I know, and a lot of people for that matter, a lot of students are, they're having to do like the online only because of the virus and all that. And that's fine. Chromebooks are awesome for that. Uh, my son has his own personal Chromebook and he's never had a problem with it. Uh, I have the Pixel Slate and I kind of just set it aside, honestly. So as I made these videos, I tried to find alternatives, video editors and things like that that I could use on the Chromebook and I wanted to work solely from the Chromebook and that was kind of the whole base of my channel was I'm going to use a Chromebook for everything that I do. I don't need a PC and I really honestly thought I could make that work. Now, the downside is that unfortunately the Chromebooks and Android in general is still suffering from app development. And yeah, that's my personal opinion and there's plenty of apps on Android and the same apps on, on iPhone and Apple, iOS, but they're just not the same. And a prime example of this is Adobe Rush. Uh, it is the Android app, it is an iPhone app, and I'm pretty sure that it's an iPad app. However, it's not meant for um, Chromebooks. Great app. I, I messed with it a little bit on my on my Pixel phone, and I loved it. But I can't get it to work on a Chromebook, and that's unfortunate. And that applies to many of the apps. And there's video editors on Android, but they're limited compared to something like LumaFusion on the iPhone or iPad. LumaFusion is a fantastic app. When I had an iPad, I loved it. Now, one of the big reasons I went to Slate is so I could have that cross functionality of a Chromebook and an Android tablet. And as much as I hate to admit it, Android tablets are just, there's just no, no app support really. And the more I use this Chromebook, the more I'm finding that I need more out of a computing device. Uh, and I get that this doesn't have an, an internal GPU and it's limited just on its, its power in general. But if you have uh, an iPad, it's more than capable of doing video editing. I know because I used one for a little bit and I loved it. I hate to admit that. I'm not an Apple person. Uh, I love Google and all everything that they offer, but it is what it is. Now, going forward with my channel, I'm going to just kind of find a variety of things. I'm going to be doing still tech reviews whenever I find something that I like. Uh, maybe accessories to go with tech. I mean, I don't I just kind of leave it open-ended. I'm only doing this YouTube channel as a hobby. Uh, I'm not trying to really make money on it or anything like that. I'm not trying to get sponsors or any, anything of that sort. It's just a hobby. So, uh, you know, keep your negative comments to yourself. Uh, it's just something I do for fun. Now, having said all that, if you made it this far, I am going to be selling this Pixel or the uh, Chromebook Slate on eBay. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, it's in perfect condition. Uh, I have used it some for my video editing and things like that. However, I don't want to just let it sit here. So, and I know that 
Chromebooks are actually in super high demand right now with school starting back and everybody having to switch to online learning. Now, I will be including the keyboard and the pen. They will have like a bundle. I have the boxes. I, mean, I take really good care of my stuff. But aside from that, uh, this video was really more about explaining why I'm getting out of the Chromebook game and kind of just dipping my toes in a little bit of everything to see what suits me the best. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be using going forward. Uh, I think I'm going to possibly switch over to the iPad. Like I said, just just for the support alone that the the uh, the app ecosystem has. Um, and hey, we'll see where it goes. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you all ride with me. You know, I hit I hit over 500 subscribers since I kind of stopped making videos. It kind of blows my mind. A lot of those uh, views and subscribers come from my tutorials on how to set up the lights and things like that. So maybe that's the direction I might go in. Uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed so far. And if you haven't subscribed, you can go ahead and do that. And you can kind of take this journey with me and see, see where I go. And hopefully we can have some fun along the way. All right. Catch you later.